is your name again? Uh, John Moody. Wow. Tell me a little bit about yourself, John. <laughs> I go back to the very beginning of all trolleys. Uh, I got a hang glider in 1974 that I couldn't learn to fly very well in Wisconsin with not many cliffs and very few hills, so I, long story short, put a go-kart engine on it, and that was the birth of Ultralights. And this airplane here is an Easy Riser, which came out in 1976, and with the motor and landing gear, this, what you're looking at, is history. This is a vintage 1978 Ultralight. This is what really started the Ultralight movement. I remember looking at it back in the 70s when I was in my 20s with a family and a mortgage and <laughs> yeah. drooled on things like this. Yeah. Well, my original Icarus 2 kit, which was the predecessor to the Easy Riser, I got in 1973, I think, for $400. I got the money to buy the kit because I was young. And had a four hundred dollars in today's money—that's like seventy-five thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I sold advertising space to Ned's Pizza on the wings, so my wings had "Yummy, Yummy Ned's Pizza" on the wings, and that's how I got the money to pay for my because I was doing pizza delivery part time to make ends meet. There have been times when I've when I ha had that on the wings that when I went to uh, a location and took the airplane out to fly, I could have sold it half a dozen or a dozen pizzas, no problem. But he's paid for my initial kit and then somehow I got some money for a motor and a propeller and March 15th, 1975, it was the first time I took off of flat land, actually it was a frozen lake, uh, in, uh, and, and was able to climb, however precious little it was, about 30 feet, and fly powered. So that is what is considered the birth of ultralight aviation. Uh, yeah, I think I'll probably go up for a quick ride. I don't have a lot of time, but while I'm here, why not? <laughs> Thank you, John. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs>